And so we knew he was intelligent, so we were hoping and waiting that he would say his first word. And when he did, at three years, it, it was awesome. Growing up in a basketball family, you know, NCAA basketball has always been my favorite to watch, my favorite to play in. I can remember as a kid, I was supposed to be in bed and I was sneaking out of my room trying to watch the NCAA tournament. And so it's been engraved in us, you know, since I can ever remember. Take us through like your process before you do something where you know it could end really good or really bad. When I stand up on the beam, I don't think, I'm about to do a back handspring layout. I think I need to sit back, I need to have tight arms and tight legs, boom, and that's how I make the skill. Touchdown! And he hung in there like a quarterback short. Fires! Touchdown, She's the only athlete in the country who's ever won a title on every single one of the events. She would come in here and work and work and work. I made the comment that Courtney Kupetz is the Muhammad Ali of women's gymnastics. It was because of the fight in her. Mo has many faces. Faulkner. He's got his celebratory ones after he makes a big play. Frustrated with the officials, confused. The ugly ones, he's got a whole bunch of them. Wagner, Robinson, back to Wagner in a three. Oh, and the words right back at Wagner. This is getting good, people. Mo loves the trash talk. Look at this, look at the talking going on between them. Whoop. Only problem is Wagner's talking in German. No, I can't hear you. So we feeling good tonight. Leah Mattingly, soccer. Mattingly was a first team all max selection, setting a school record in minutes played. Female athlete of the year. Lorena White. Talk with Ball State football alumni Joe Fazio, Talmadge Hill, and current New Orleans Saints wide receiver Willie Sneed. Three of their four losses on the season to ranked opponents led by Texas A&M, ranked ninth in the country. In Sparty territory. It will lead to a touchdown just three plays later to make it 28 to nothing. Buckeyes with the ball again, and it's Weber. This time off to the races for 82 yards. He would not be caught as the Buckeyes led 35-0 there, 35-3 at halftime.